something is worth investigating. First, try to determine if the object that the person reported is something they've misunderstood, such as the planet Venus or perhaps an aircraft late at night. So we try to eliminate all possible explanations in the beginning. So let's dive into some of these reports that MUFON gets. The top three cases, uh, the first one involving Ontario, Canada. What is that case about? Oh, that, that's, that was our best case for the year uh, 2015. There were three hunters, and it so happened that one of those hunters is actually a research scientist. The object they saw was barbell-shaped. Their uh, video camera stopped working. The cell phone did not work. The guy who's the research scientist actually took out his rifle with a scope on it because that was the only thing he had that he could look at the object and magnify it. Okay, let's go through some of these other ones pretty quickly here. We have uh, Montgomery, New York. This involved a teenage boy witnessing something in the sky? Yes, what made this case interesting um, is we actually had radiation where supposedly this disc-shaped object that this young boy saw, and he went through the woods to get a better view, and then that's when he saw this disc-shaped object basically shine a bright light onto the ground and it depressed all of the grass. There was one case in particular I want to touch on too from back in 2013 involving uh, the airport in Puerto Rico. Um, this was a case where a Homeland Security aircraft was going on a normal uh, drug patrol around the Puerto Rican coast. They see a red light approaching the airport and there's no aircraft that are supposed to be coming in. So they turn on their infrared camera system uh, to capture the object. And then the object goes into the ocean and the most amazing thing is it comes back out of the ocean and then the object splits into two parts, equal size parts. All right, Robert Powell from MUFON, thanks so much for joining us.